you are trying to get educated about anatomy, fitness, kinesiology, biomechanics, physiology, and of course, resistance training, you're going to run across this group of words quite often. They are lateral, unilateral, bilateral, ipsilateral, and contralateral. For the basics, these words have very simple meanings, and I don't think you're going to have any trouble getting them down. Most everybody probably already knows what lateral means. It means to the side, on the side, or just the side. But I'll give you some additional information to further your understanding. For each of these five words, starting with lateral, a new slide with its own example image will appear. These are, by the way, anatomical direction terms, and among these, the word lateral and its related terms are the most often used. The link below this video will take you to an explanation that explains it all very thoroughly. The definition of lateral. As said, lateral means the side, to the side, or on the side. You know what I mean if I refer to the side of your head or the side of your body. Each has a right side and a left side, but your legs and arms seem to have two sides and a front and a back. Well, that's not how anatomists see it. A more technical definition of lateral is away from the midline of the body. This midline is an imaginary line drawn vertically down the center of the body. That's how most of the more knowledgeable people think of lateral. But a line down the center of the body is not quite right because in this way, to say that lateral means away from this line could still give us lots of directions to choose from. So let's get more precise. Lateral means away from the median or mid-sagittal plane. This is a plane of symmetry of the body, dividing it into equal left and right halves. I should note that the mid-sagittal plane is often just called the sagittal plane. Read the article on anatomical direction terms for more discussion of that. Other words for this plane are the anteroposterior plane and the XY plane. The image on the slide represents this plane which passes down through the sagittal suture of the skull. The next thing we need to get straight is the reference position of the body when discussing this. Especially, we need to know how the arms and hands are positioned. Otherwise, lateral would mean different things depending on this position. When you stand in a natural way with the palms of your hands facing to your sides, or more or less to your sides, you are in the fundamental position. This is not the position that we use for anatomic direction terms. We use the anatomic position as pictured. This position is the same, except that the palms face forward. So now, if I tell you to locate the lateral part of your arm, you should be able to find that. With your palm facing forward, the lateral arm is the part of the arm furthest from the sagittal plane. The leg should be simple as well. The opposite of lateral, meaning toward or nearer to the midline or sagittal plane, is medial. Definition of unilateral. Unilateral means one side or affecting one side. In fitness and resistance training, we use this term to refer to exercises that only use one side of the body at a time. If you do a dumbbell press with one arm alone, like the strong man in the picture, it is a unilateral press. A one-legged squat or pistol could be called a unilateral squat. A lunge exercise could be called a unilateral exercise as well, although we usually call this a single leg exercise or a supported single leg exercise. In medicine, the term would be used to refer to a condition that affects only one side of the body, an organ, or a structure. Definition of bilateral. Bilateral means two sides, both sides, or affecting both sides. A regular barbell press is a bilateral exercise. A barbell back squat is a bilateral squat. Or, let's say you have shin splints in both legs. Another way of saying that is that you have bilateral shin splints. An important concept in biology is bilateral symmetry. Most animals, including us humans, have this bilateral symmetry. It means that the sagittal plane divides the two sides of our bodies into essentially what are mirror images of each other. Definition of ipsilateral. Ipsilateral means the same side 
on the same side or affecting the same side. My right cheekbone is ipsilateral to my right ear. Another word for ipsilateral is homolateral. What if you were performing a lunge exercise while holding one dumbbell? If I told you to hold the dumbbell in your ipsilateral hand, I would mean that you should hold it on the same side as your working leg. Ipsilateral is important in medicine as a shorthand to mean something occurring on the same side as a reference point. Definition of contralateral. Contralateral means the opposite side or affecting the opposite side. The side of the brain that controls the right hand is contralateral to that hand, meaning it is on the opposite side from the hand. The external obliques cause contralateral rotation of the torso, meaning they cause the torso to rotate to the opposite side from the muscle that is contracting. Another word for contralateral is heterolateral. In resistance and strength training, we often speak of contralateral strength differences when referring to one side of the body being weaker than the other.